Hello, in this PC SX2 video, I'm going to actually show you how to set up the emulator on Steam Deck. Exciting stuff. So you can play PlayStation 2 games on the go. Spoiler alert, it runs really well. It's not too hard to set up. Just want to let you know this video is not condoning piracy. And, you know, you should legally own a console. You should legally own the games as well that you are, you know, that you play. I do. So, yeah, I, I just want to, no matter what links I provide, I'm not condoning piracy. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to desktop mode. Click the Steam button. Go to power. And click switch to desktop. So, switching to desktop. If you already, you know, have used desktop mode before, great. If not, honestly, it's... It's not too difficult. You use the right trackpad here to, you know, move the mouse. And if you click it in, it will actually do a left click. And if you click the right left trackpad, it does a right click. So those are the main functions, you know, main buttons that you'll use in desktop mode. Okay, so first of all, let me minimize this. We'll deal with this in a second. First of all, you want to open up the start menu. And you want to go to discover if it doesn't appear there just go to search and search for it go to discover Yes, if you have like a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse it helps a lot But it is not a requirement and I've done all the setup and as you can see I'm going to do all the setup with just the Steam Deck. It is more than possible. It's not too difficult so now just go to search and to bring up the keyboard just press the Steam button and the X button. So let me move out back a bit. There we go. And now just search for PCSX2. PCSX2. Click enter. I'm going to close the keypad. And just click install in the top right. It can be a bit finicky. Uh, using your finger so you can just use the right trackpad to navigate using the mouse so there's tasks just going down here so just let that complete it is downloading well pcsx2 now and yeah you can just get it off the discover store So now that it's downloaded, it's going to install it as well. Again, it doesn't take too long, and then we'll go through the configuration process. Okay, now that is done, you can launch it from here or I'll launch it the way you probably normally would. And you can just launch it and it appears in games. And I'm just going to scroll. Oh, I did I literally just launch up No Man's Sky. Nope, I will test that on another video. Uh, so if I go to games... Ah, oh, that was annoying. There we go, PCSX2, launch that up. Okay, so you'll first get this menu, that's fine, just go to next. It's asking for a BIOS file, so you just go to your web browser, I'm going to use the built-in Firefox, and go to romsmania.cc, I will provide a link to this in the description. Go to BIOS in the top right. And select PCSX2, PlayStation 2 BIOS. Click the download button. And it'll download it after a few seconds. It'll take you to this page, a few seconds, and it will download. And if I just select e OK. And that's it, it, it will have downloaded. Again, I'm not condoning piracy. Make sure you're on a PS2 and make sure 
that you know you have the games that you are going to play so now what we're going to do is open up this folder i've already got it extracted but i'll extract it again all you got to do is right click it so to do that you press hover over the zip file press anywhere in on the left trackpad now use the right trackpad to click ex go to extract and go to extract archive here auto detect subfolder there we go now in here just select all of these if you don't manage to get them all selected in the first swipe just you know manually select every single one and now whilst hovering over one of them press the right mouse button which is the left trackpad clicked in now go to copy and now what you want to do is navigate to this directory and I'll, and I'll tell you where it is so if you go to home dot var app the net dot pcsx2 dot pcsx2 folder go to config pcsx2 and bios again right click here click paste doesn't take long go back select refresh list select your bios and just you know just double click on it and that's it so here what you want to do is close down so let me just move this a bit this this little program log that you got behind close it down because it can cause issues so close this down and now what we are going to do is let me show you before we set this up let me show you where i'm just going to put my games so what i'm going to do is i've already got a game you know ready and i'll go back to the net.pcsx2 folder and in here i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to call it games so just right click go to create new folder and just press steam and the x button and i'm going to call it games games Oop, do not want a backslash and that's it so my game so obviously make sure you have your isos and again make sure you've legally obtained them i've got it in home warpinator and it's right, right right here i'm gonna copy it and now if i go back to that folder go to games right click paste one file And the SSD and everything is very fast, so it doesn't really matter. Including the micro SD slot if you do have a micro SD card in there. Now what we can do is actually set up PCSX2. So we can close this down. In PCSX2, go to System, hover over Game Settings, Enable Widescreen Patches. You want to go to Config, General, and in here, go down to GS Window, select aspect ratio set it to fit to window screen and for the custom window size but once you set it it'll probably default it afterwards to us i think something like 12 6 4 by 7 something that's fine initially just get the keyboard keyboard up set it to 12 80 by 800 okay so now that we've got that you want to start in full screen mode otherwise it's a, a pain to you know mess around with that stuff go to speed hacks select mtvu multi-threaded and for the preset just keep it as safe i find that works fine click apply and it says the configured folder does not exist that's fine click create click ok almost done go to config go to graphic settings now in here for the renderer select vulcan i find 
for some reason if I just press it it just disappears so keep the right trackpad pressed and then go to Vulkan go to adapter select a AMD rad V and for the internal resolution select two times you'll be able to render it two times you'll be fine for the CRC hack level go to aggressive found that works fine if you get some game where it doesn't work so well just tone it down or you will have you may have to experiment but again that's what the compatibility list uh, is going to be for and is for that I'm compiling and there's a link in the description to that along with everything else where you can see what games I've played what you know what settings I recommend as well if there's any different settings but these settings should be pretty good to go and now if we go to hacks go to manual hw hacks disable partial invalidation on an older version it's named something different but it is the same setting and honestly that's you know that's really it you know you're pretty much all good to go in terms of the graphic side and what we want to do is actually configure the gamepad but we don't want to do it like this leave this as default and what we want to do now is actually shut this down we want to open up steam tilt the phone down a second go to library go to add a game go to add a non steam game it is you know within linux and it's not like installed as an exe or anything so you can just select it from here select the tick box select add selected programs and that's it and what we'll do is go back to return to gaming mode now and once we get back to gaming mode we'll set up the controller layout configuration and then we'll test and then we're all good to go Okay, so, uh, or, you know, you're up here. In your library, non-Steam. Go to uh, PCSX2. Go to the controller icon. And what you want to do is go to current layout. By default, you'll probably have gamepad with joystick trackpad selected. You don't want that. Go to community layout. Go to forks tweaked. And yours isn't downloaded probably. So if you click A, you'll download it. And then you'll set it. And that's it. We're all good to go. You click play. You don't need to use desktop mode. And now you can just use the right, you know, trackpad to navigate around. All you got to deal with is go to system. I mean, go to C, DVD. Go to... Ooh. ISO selector, browse, and now just go to where your game is. So if you go to home, go to I mean it, it, it automatically selected the folder. So we'll just go there. And so you want to go to net.pcsx2, go to games, and you want to go to crash nitro cart click open then go to system boot ISO here we go presents a turbocharged extravaganza by vicarious visions Racial trying to skip there we go
As you can see, the game is working fantastic. And if you're wondering why I'm getting 50 frames per second, not 60, I'm you know playing the European version. The you know EU versions, a lot of them, they were capped at 50 frames per second due to the 50 hertz refresh rate. And I mean that's nothing to do with the emulator or Steam Deck. You can get around that by getting an American game if you want to. And that's it. So that's how you set up the PCSX2 emulator on the Steam Deck. And honestly, the games that I've tried, it runs so well. You know, I've created a gameplay video, a benchmark video on black. I'll be uploading that soon. I'm going to create one for Crash Nitro Kart as well. I'll upload the setup video. I'll be doing God of War videos. The whole shebang. So let me know what other videos you would like to see. PCSX2, maybe PS PS3 on our PCS3, or just PC games in general. And I will, you know, create those videos. Thanks for watching. And feel free to check out the links in the description to help you out, including the Steam compatibility list. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Actually, one second. Before you go, if you're still here, I want to just mention one last thing. If you go to back to your desktop. Uh, actually, let me just close this down. One little thing that you may not have, I think I may have missed, is if we go to the Explorer, whilst you were navigating in here to get to, you know, home and then to get the dot var to appear, if that doesn't appear for you, that's fine. Just go to the burger button right here, click show hidden files. That's a little tip right there. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.